Well, it's often better to mix your ground bait sort of in little quantities, isn't it? little and often, particularly yeah. when the weather's as hot as this, because it does dry out pretty quick. And mix it dry to yeah. start with, to you know, to get it all mm. together. If you're mixing two types together, yeah. you know. Um, and I, I prefer to mix the ground bait, and I don't like adding, you know, putting like loads of maggots or casters yeah. in with it. You know, yeah. it's all right with inert things like a bit of sweet corn, you know, yeah. um, and some small pellets, say. Yeah. You know, that's not going to come to any harm. That's not going to change. But, but if you add maggots to it, it can affect it when you put it into the mix. Yeah. Put it into a feeder, it can mm. break your mix up, can't right, it? Right, that's right. And once you've added it, you can't take it out, can you? You can Shake. always put a bit more in. Yeah. Put a bit in a bait tub and add some maggots if you want to try something a bit different, but yeah. you don't have to do it with the whole mix, do you? What I like about all the modern ground baits, you know, I mean, OK, the Sonya range is brilliant for us because it, it, everything's done. The mix seems yeah. to mix so easy. That's Even it. the mixing instructions are on the side of the packets. Yeah, that's it. Fish mill ground baits. And, uh, you know, which the fish really love, and they just mix so easily. This old lake's absolutely stuffed with fish, isn't it, Chris? I mean, it's well known for its oh. carp to 30 pound, and there's big eddy carp, tench and bream, and it, it sees all manner of baits, from the you know, old-fashioned flake and, and yeah. corn and cast yeah. through to the latest boilies and pellets. And, Oh, so you, you've seemed to have gone for more of the sort of modern approach today. Well, I have, to be fair, yeah. I, I, I dare say the old approach would still work, but, yeah, I have. I think the fish are used to getting the, the modern baits, yeah. aren't they? The carp anglers that come on here. That's right, is it? Chuck a... loads of boilies in pellet, and don't they, yeah. all the while? And, and I think you're handicapping yourself if you don't sort of let them pre-bait for you, if you mm, like. That's you think? Bream definitely seemed to really pick up on, on those pellets yeah. in particular. Yeah, love um, them, don't they? It Absolutely doesn't take love them, them long to, to recognise it's a good food source and a good food for Yeah, them. no, I've, I've, been, I've been using, uh, being obviously a hot day in the summer here, you know, I know the big bream sometimes, they do come out on the boilies, but mm. sometimes at dawn and dusk, don't yeah, they, or after yeah. dark, you know. But I've, I've, used, I've had more success there with a smaller hook yeah. and a smaller bait, and I've used the 8 mil strawberry S pellets, yeah. which, which, you know, if you smell them, I mean, they, they, they do smell, don't they, of, of the strawberry. Mm, mm. They really do. And then, of course, when you squeeze them, you know, they're, they're full of oil, aren't they? Yeah. You know, yeah, and obviously really there's a lot of attraction there, isn't there? Yeah, nice and easy to hook because they're soft. All easy the way to hook through, on, yeah, that's right. But they seem to stay on well. So yeah. I think they're a brilliant bait, to be honest. I've, I've genuinely really got into these now for lots of my fishing and in the different sizes. I have got a bit of a thing for these strawberry ones. I yeah. think they're pretty good. I've also caught some fish um, on, on these, you know, these new drilled boilies, right. which uh, they're pretty new. This is, they're, they're a small size. They're yeah, sort of, the these are the one. six mil, yeah. Right, white chocolate I mean, six how mil. small is that? And that's yeah. like really deadly, and they're already pre-drilled. Yeah. Right, and um, you know, that on a quick stop, you because know, small bait. Because get a baiting needle through a boilie, that You is, split it, don't you? You split them, you know, nine times out of 10, you're gonna yeah, split them, aren't you? you do. So having that hole already in there just makes them so much easier to use. Yeah, and then- and Do you think the color makes a difference on that? You've got a couple yeah, of different Yeah, I've got different ones. This is there. a tooty fruity one, and yeah. there's an orange. I'm not, a, not sure if it does or it doesn't really. I mean, this lake is fairly, it might be more the smell perhaps mm. than, uh, mm. the smell of the size colored. perhaps. These will withstand attacks of small fish. And also, once they're on a hair rig, for example, on those special clips, you know, they. You've got a job to get them off, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I do like, I mean, I, I, oh, there we go. There yeah, we're on, boy. I do like those those white chocolate ones. I mean, they smell gorgeous. Yes, yes. And just the colour, it's that pure white colour, yeah, I think. Sure. Uh, over a bed of pellets or ground bait, it just must stand out like a sore Yeah, that's it. Just keep the rod tip low, just ease him back, just keep, and just on, keep, keep, keep winding, winding, really. I know they're not massive fish, but, you know, I think if we start trying to give them too much stick, Pull the head off, as it were, you know, then the fish send alarm signals that's back it. to the, uh, so, yeah, it's just the nice rest and of the show. Yeah, there? There's that's no rush. It. yeah, there is no rush with bream fishing. Which I suppose is why the matchmen like them so much, isn't it, really? That's it. Yeah. You know, I've always enjoyed it. I don't think this is a big one, probably a pound, pound and a half, perhaps, yeah. you know. Yeah, there's a, are they young, uh, young morons, aren't they, Paul? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think they are. Yeah. Here he comes. That's the bit. I'm not the world's expert on birds. You're not the expert on the birds? No, no, I can't say I'm... I know you spend most of their time diving on me boilies. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm not exactly David Attenborough, but... Yeah. Uh, again, I know that's a go. bream. Yeah. That's definitely a bream, yeah. isn't it? I remember my Mr Crabtree book would have told yeah. me that was a bream. <laughs>
Oh, so the one thing that hasn't changed, they're still slimy, aren't they're they? They're still slimy, yeah. Yeah. What was that? Was that on the, uh, yeah. was on the S pellet? Yeah, the old S pellet. Yeah. They do love those, don't they? Yeah. Look, she's come undone already. Look, there you go. Another nice brain. Rather than just unceremoniously dump him back in the water, we just use him, put him back in the net. That's it. Away he goes. And away he goes. Happy days. Now, well, my great. missus won't want to come near me tonight <laughs> when I go home all slimy as usual. Slimy the brew, smelling the brew. Hey? I think you're going to be in for a few more before it's over. Yeah, time I think as we're well. on for a few now. Definitely, yeah, they're definitely, definitely starting to look at that now, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now it's been a great day, Paul. Yeah, it does. It was a bit tough to start with, but yeah. as often is this time of year, you know, you fish during the hot hours of the day. There's bright sunlight. It's not the best time, but just staying on, staying on for that couple of hours. Once the sun gets off the wall, it makes all the difference, doesn't it? A new lovely day on a new fishery. I haven't been. Well, I don't yeah. think I've been here since I was a kid, actually. Because <laughs> you know, I've moved you away. That far, that? It's a long time ago. <laughs> That's that. No, it's a cracking venue and a, yeah. a nice yeah. day's fishing. Well, I think I'm going to have another chuck, mate. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Well, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for for today. Hope you've seen some new methods there that inspire you to go out and catch some more fish. Thanks to all the staff here at Oldbury Hill Fisheries for looking after us. See you again soon. <laughs> <laughs>